before the opening bell. U.S. indices closing higher to end the week last Friday with the S&P 500 up 1.5% on the week, lifted by shares in food and staples retailing, household and personal products, and capital goods sectors. On the economic docket, the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index falling to 97.1 in a preliminary estimate in July from 98.2 the previous month. Now after hours, Alphabet, that's Google, it would be handed a record EU fine which is expected to exceed 2.4 billion euros as soon as this Tuesday, tomorrow, for Android monopoly case. This according to the Telegraph. Turning overseas, Asian markets, they were mixed today. The Nikkei up 1.85%, the Hang Seng up 0.05%, China CSI 300 down 0.59%, and South Korea's Kospi down 0.39%. European markets slightly in the red, and U.S. futures calling for a steady to negative start. In terms of expectations today, Bank of America second quarter EPS seen at 57 cents, while Netflix second quarter EPS seen at 89 cents. Moving on to BlackRock, its second quarter EPS seen at $6.57, while on the economic docket, 8.30 in the morning, we have June retail sales advanced figures as well as the Empire Manufacturing read for the month of July. Then at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have May business inventories. Turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 sees the bias remain bullish, and that's in focus to start the week as the relative strength index is bullish and calling for further upside. Long positions above 27.93 are favored with targets at 28.14 and 28.20 in extension. And the Nasdaq, that sees a bullish bias above 73.66, well, the Dow Jones has its watch level at 25,200.